do have some fog out there a little bit thicker now in Indianapolis out of the airport that visibility is measuring at a third of a mile. The fog's not widespread, but it is patchy around the area and some of it dense. So keep that in mind as you're heading on out this morning. You might want to leave just a couple minutes earlier just in case you're going to have to slow it down and end up under some of that reduced visibility. We had some storms pass through, of course, yesterday and then very early this morning, but we've dried out for now. But take a look at these rainfall estimates from the last 24 hours and you can see the those heavier cells where they passed over central Indiana yesterday from Hendricks County into southern Boone County, the northern side of Marion County, and then into eastern Hamilton County and western Madison County, kind of the bullseye of the heaviest rain we saw from yesterday. Here are the rainfall totals here at our CBS 4 studio on the northwest side. We picked up very quickly over two inches of rain while out in Lapel, 3.82 inches of rainfall from yesterday. At this time, we're dry. But but more rain is in the forecast later on today. So if you have outdoor plans, maybe you're heading to the state fair, maybe you're heading to the Indians game tonight or out to the Blink 182 concert. Many things going on. Still keep your plans, but just be aware those rain chances are there. They're not necessarily going to end up over you, but that possibility does exist. Future cast as a as we get towards three o'clock, we start to see more of that activity developing. It's going to be widely scattered in nature. Not everybody sees it, and I'm expecting less activity than yesterday, but still very more moisture rich atmosphere means that we will have the capability to produce again some very heavy downpours and maybe some stronger potentially severe storms damaging winds would be that primary threat but by the time we get towards say eight o'clock that activity of what we will have seen is going to start winding back on down so again if you're going out to the indians game tonight you might not get any rainfall over victory field but if you had some early on in the game you should be fine by the end of the game the storm prediction center does have the eastern side of the state highlighted under that small risk, that marginal risk for potentially severe storms today. All severe weather threats are possible, but damaging winds would be the most likely of anything of that nature that does develop. 71 degrees is where we are now in Indianapolis, 70 in Muncie and 72 in Bloomington with dew point temperatures, upper 60s and lower 70s. That air is still feeling thick, very humid throughout the rest of today as well. If you're heading out to the Indiana State Fair, gates open at 9 a.m. Temperatures by that point, mid 70s by 5 o'clock. We're in the low to mid 80s with those storm chances in the area. As we head through the evening hours, again, those chances wind back on down. We'll see some fog develop overnight. Temperatures drop to the upper 60s and then over the weekend, a lot of sunshine. We're going to be warm. We're actually going to still stay rather humid, maybe an isolated shower on Saturday, but primarily dry conditions the next couple of days over the weekend. Warm over the first part of next week, upper 80s into the lower 90s, staying humid. I'd say through the middle of the week, but then we'll see some more rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday and we'll start to break that humidity late into next week.